Astronomers have discovered what could be the brightest object in the universe. Uh, the quasar shines about 500 trillion times brighter than our sun and has the fastest growing black hole ever recorded. Uh, the Australian-led team said the discovery had been, quote, staring them in the face. Uh, let's talk about that with our science correspondent, Jonathan Avos. <laughs> Staring us in the face all along. Well, it, it had been tucked away in a drawer. <laughs> Somebody had seen this uh, quite a few years back, um, and they thought, oh, that's just a, a nearby bright star. Uh, but then they went quite recently and had another look at it and thought, you know what, that's not quite so close. That's a long, long way away. Uh, and when they examined the light, uh, they realised actually it had, that light had taken 12 billion years to reach us. That's how far away this object is. And so to be that bright in the sky, Clearly, intrinsically, it is very, very bright indeed. And as you said, um, it's, it's shining, you know, 500 trillion times brighter than our sun. And so this is, this is what they call a quasar. It's a, a sort of a, an active nucleus of a galaxy. So if you can imagine a massive black hole. We've got a black hole at the centre of our galaxy. It's about 4 million times the mass of our sun. This thing is 17 billion times the mass of our suns and it pulls matter on top, on top of itself, around itself, a big disk. Uh, it heats that uh, material up and it's that's, that's what shines very, very brightly indeed because as we all know you can't see a black hole directly. Yes, what, <laughs> even when it's staring even us when it's in, staring in, in the face. Yes. And so what, what's the kind of significance of, of kind of continually finding effectively things Well one like of the this? really interesting things uh, that we've discovered in the last few years is that these really massive, supermassive black holes exist really early in the universe. And that's a bit of a puzzle because they seem too big, too early to be like that. And that's got us thinking that, that maybe black holes are forming even perhaps before the first stars. Is there some mechanism just after the Big Bang that allows black holes to essentially just become a black hole, the infall of gas? doesn't sort of stop at a star, um, it carries on to make a black hole. And that black hole then gets bigger and bigger, starts to consume the stuff around it. And that's when you get then these big black holes at the centres of all galaxies. They do seem to be at the centres of all galaxies. Jonathan, thank you so much for that. Absolutely fascinating. Thank you for that.